What's going on guys? In this video, we're going to create a new component in React and we're going to see how to use Apollo client to submit GraphQL mutations to the GraphQL API that we implemented on a previous video using Nest.js and Apollo server. Remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel and let's get started. This is the GraphQL server that we implemented using Nest.js. This server is running on port 8080 and this is the schema that we've been using where we have this mutation to create new videos and this mutation receives this input that includes a title, a URL and a user ID. So we're going to create a new component with a form that is going to include these three values and we're going to submit that mutation to this server. So let's go to the React project and let's add a new component. This component will be add video that yes okay let's create a functional component so i'm going to create a constant this will be add video and here this is going to be equals to an arrow function i'm going to leave this empty for now and i'm going to grab a couple of libraries from here this imports so first I'm going to create a constant for the GraphQL mutation, uh, new video. This will be equal to GQL and I'm going to paste the mutation here. And this is the mutation. And here I'm passing the title, the URL and the user ID. Here I'm going to use a hook that is part of the Apollo React Hooks library. And this hook is going to return a function to create the video. And the hook is use mutation, this one, where I'm going to pass this mutation like this. I need to import this. I'm going to remove this one. I'm not going to use it. Okay, I'm going to export this component. Export default add video. Here I'm going to return a form with three fields: the title, the URL, and the user ID of the video. So this will be a div. And within this div, I'm going to create the form. And this form is going to handle the unsubmit event. Um, submit. And I'm going to pass the event here as a narrow function. And the body of this arrow function here first is going to prevent the default event and here I'm going to call the create video function where I'm going to pass these variables like this this will be variables and I'm going to pass another object with the three values for the title I'm going to create a couple of variables here one for the title, another one for the URL, and another one for the user ID. And using these variables, I'm going to store the input of the user. So this will be title dot value. The next value will be URL. This is URL dot value. And the third one will be user ID user ID dot value and here I'm going to add three inputs the first one will be a title the second one will be the URL and the third one will be the user ID 
And finally, I'm going to add a bottom. That is going to be a submit bottom. Here for each of these inputs, I'm going to handle the user input with a ref where I can define a function that receives a value and assigns the value to each of these variables. For the first input will be the title. So this is title equals value. And for the rest of the inputs, it's going to be pretty much the same. The second one with the URL. And the last one with the user ID. OK, and that's pretty much all we need to submit our mutation. As you may remember, we already created this new video notification component that is going to allow us to receive push notifications in our GraphQL client every time that a new video with this title is created. So I'm going to the main component and I'm going to import the component that we just created. This is add video. Okay, and I'm going to add some styles here. I'm going to use the celebrity pure CSS. So I'm going to grab this from here. This is a CSS framework. It's an alternative to Bootstrap and some other frameworks such as Foundations, for example. And I'm going to grab this and I'm going to paste it here. And I'm going to grab this class from here and I'm going to apply this to our form just to add some style, nothing crazy. And I'm going to add some other styles here really quickly. Okay, here I created this field set to wrap up all these inputs. I assigned this class to each of these divs. Uh, this class is part of the pure CSS framework. I assign a label to each of these fields, and I also assign this placeholder for each of these inputs. Okay, now let's run this. Okay, now let's create a new video. We're going to use this title. This is the title that will allow us to get the notification here. Remember that this loading message here is basically the place where the notification is going to be shown. So we want to sign this title. The URL is going to be this one and the user ID will be one, let's say. So I'm going to add the video. And as we can see here, we get the push notification. Let's change this, this to.net and user three, let's say. If I run this again, we're going to see that we get identification again with the new data. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.